same time. And you'll be wondering, about what has happened in my life? Because God is a God of the double proportion. He said, for your sheep, I will give you double. For everything you suffer by the enemy, and the enemy you will look at you and laugh at you and delay you, is wasting his time. I will make you to experience both of them in the same season. Demonic manipulations. They can be terrible. I said they can be terrible. I said they can be terrible. The Bible tells us the great, the great patriarch, Abraham, the mighty man, the Bible one is one of the patriarchs, the father of faith. All the faith we're talking about, he became faith. This man came from a home and a family of limited people. He wanted to be successful. Before him, his father wanted to be successful. His father left Earth of the Chinese. When you read Genesis chapter 11, he left Earth of the Chinese with a mindset that he was going to camp. That was his vision. That was his passion. That was what he was working at. And he took his family and they were heading towards camp. But because of the spirit of limitation, the Bible said when they got to Haram, he settled there. So he has settled in things that is not your destination. I want to talk to somebody today. I want to prophesy to that the Lord will jack you out of that place. That's why though you are there, but you are not happy because that is not your dream. That is not your destiny. That is not what you love to and you have a passion for. And the enemy has allowed you to adjust yourself because of crisis and calamity. I prophesy tonight. Tonight you will rise and go to your real dream because your fulfillment in life is not what you manage with. Your fulfillment in life is what God has placed in your spirit. I don't care what you try to manage your life around. If you don't step into your God-given dream, you don't find fulfillment. You die unfulfilled. You die not satisfied. You die knowing that there was something you were supposed to do that you didn't do. One of the richest places in our world today is the graveyard. Where many people who had destiny, they don't even tap into it. They just adjusted to the circumstances of life. You are not permitted. I said you are not permitted. If no one doing, I come as a prophet of God to tell you that you are not permitted to die without fulfilling God's plan for your life. You must fulfill God's plan. You will fulfill God's plan for your life. God has a plan. He told Jeremiah before I found you in your mother's womb. I knew you. You are not hustling. You are not managing your life. You are before you begin a cycle or an embryo in the mother's womb. I have a blueprint for your life. I all love what your life should have been. Where you are going to talk to somebody else. What you are supposed to do. Where you are supposed to go. Life you are supposed to affect. You can get here now and settle down for anything. You are not going to settle. I said you are not going to settle. I declare you restless until you enter God's presence for your life. Because there is a generation waiting for you. The Bible says the end of expectation of creation waits for the manifestation of the sons of God. You are a son of God. There is something you are supposed to do for your generation. I want to talk to somebody tonight. I know that so that beginning life can be challenging. Some of you came here, you got to take up your life. And so taking up your life, you have to accept certain things. I don't have a problem with that. God doesn't have a problem with you starting low. God has a problem with you staying low. I say God doesn't have a problem with you starting low. He has a problem with you staying low. God always pick people from low places. But he doesn't keep them at low places. The low places. He said, don't your beginning love small. I like that. Don't your beginning. It's a prophetic word. Love small. But your latter end shall greatly increase. Don't just call it. You need to know it. You need to end on your spirit. And know, hey, this is not what I settled for in life. This is not what I wanted to be. I'm not talking to somebody here. I am not going to manage life. I am going to live. Jesus said, I have come that you may have life. And have a more abundantly. What did Jesus talking about? Jesus was not talking about mere existence. Too many people on the earth are existing. They are not living. Why means we exist? Breathing cup, breathing oxygen and give a carbon dioxide. So when I want to give it to the earth, that's their contribution. We need to give oxygen. Amen. I mean they give carbon dioxide and they take your oxygen. If I don't give you anything, they are just doing a bad rate. <laughs> they give and they take it. I'm not talking to somebody here. Amen. I'm taking oxygen and say, okay, come on, for the exchange. Take my carbon dioxide. You know what I'm saying? That's what they are offering their generation. That's not what God called you for. He called you to live. That word comes from the Hebrew word. It means sway. It means full life. Life with all 
its fullness, everything, nothing missing. I'm not talking to somebody here. I know it has been challenging. That's why I want to say to you today, you fulfill your destiny as a child of God. The place of a minister of God is important in your life. It's important. It's important. It's not an option. You come to this church. Listen, you do not come to this church to support this church. You did come for that. If that's an illusion, it's an illusion. It's a lie. It's a false thing. An illusion is a false thing. It's something you are believing that is a lie. You didn't come to help this church. You didn't come here to that. You didn't come here to help Matthew. You came here to be transformed. If you're here, you don't respect you for another church. Go there. Because any anointing you don't respect, you don't attract anything from it. You are wasting your time. You don't receive anything from God. I'm not talking to somebody here. When you come to an anointing, you must respect the anointing. You must submit to the anointing. You must open your spirit to the anointing. Because if there's an anointing over you that you don't respect, you are wasting your time. I tell my church every day, you don't, you don't believe in me, you don't trust in my anointing, find someone else. Go to another church. Go and find another pastor. So don't waste your time here because you won't get anything from me. That's right. You know, some people just don't like it for certain things. I don't know right the way he can carry himself. Okay, no, I'm a human being. Yes. But also we have this treasure in 18 vessels. And there's no way I will satisfy you to the fullest. No way. You get that somebody don't like going to wear red. So if I wear red, you'll be vegetable. <laughs> and that's a, that man like wearing red. I don't like him wearing red. I don't like wearing red. Are you understand what I'm saying? You're supposed to get angry for different things. It's just a foolish thing, you know. You just don't like people for that. And that becomes an obstacle. Can you imagine that? I don't know why you just like to bluff. You know, I hate people like bluffing. <laughs> but you're gonna die because if I like bluffing, you'd be the first one to go and go find a pastor. I'm like bluffing. I'm going to the church. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because you, you, you never would have made it there. Why? Because I like bluffing. <laughs> Listen, there are some things that don't matter. Yes. Concentrate on the major, throw away the minor. Yes. I'm talking to somebody here. Yes. Stop making the minor major. Make the major major the minor minor. Understand. Check the Bible. Most people that succeed, so many came from nowhere. Not a man like David. A man like David who, listen to me, David on the problem was too bad. The world did not believe in him. They are a horse. A bar. A bar who should have been support to him was the one that disqualified him. Is it king? You're not one of them. You're not one of them. Go on the fact the money. You gotta say they are not king. You want to sit down? Oh dear, stop that kind of joke. Go on the fact. When they are talking about king, you are not one of those. Did he know that was the king? But he was disqualified by his father. The father was looking at his physical appearance and evaluating him by his physical appearance. That's what Paul said. We don't know men out of the flesh. That's why a lot of you have lost great people in your life. As a child of God, it's a dangerous thing to analyze people from the physical. The Bible says when you meet people, you need to pick them up in the spirit. You need to pray and say, God, who is this person? Because, listen to me, God don't work from heaven. Stop lying to yourself. I've been in the ministry for the last almost 21 years. 18 years as a, as a, a deep minister. No angel has blessed me. I have not seen God before. I've heard him. You have interacted. He has spoken to me, but I have not seen him. Every time God said he had a blessing for me, he used somebody to bring it. I want to talk to somebody here. Every time God had an anointing, he used a minister to lay hands on my head and to impact my life. So I understood. God told me some years ago, he said, so you want to succeed? I said, yeah. He said, never overlook spiritual covering. He said, the covering I place for you, respect that covering, submit to that covering. No matter what I do to you, no matter what part of the world you go, remain so. Listen, my pastor has not traveled out of Liberia. She don't even know the next country out of Liberia. But I submit to her. Because that's what the person God says, I should submit to her. I'm all over the place. South Africa, Tanzania, this other place, United States. Bah, bah, bah. When I go back home, I'm here. And here every time. The Lord really bless me, you know. Here every time. And I'm here. I'm going in. Bless me. Sure. Why? So when I go, I am protected. 
any devil that tried me, they will pass for you to die, you will die. Because I have an anointing plus another anointing back in me. I'm not talking to somebody here. I have a double protection over me. You cannot benefit me and succeed. 